Roses so red. This flower is dead. Violets so blue. I'm still in love with you. There's so much for you to see. Welcome to my new collab with Shanna P. I am one bitter lady this love month, so I decided to paint roses on my face instead. If you wanna know how I did this, keep on watching. And oh, don't forget to watch Shanna's creative video as well. What is up beautiful? Welcome back to my channel. Since I wasn't given any flowers or chocolates this Valentine's, I have chosen red roses as my subject because it symbolizes love and romance. It means I love you when given. Let's head on with the romantic eye makeup by using the shade Multitasker from Tartlet Palette. Apply that on the crease area using an angled brush. To find out where your crease lies, just feel where the eye sockets are and draw a curved line around the crease area but extending outwards with a flake. They will return the day when they are needed. Then taking a dome brush, blend the upper area of the crease. And for the red, I'll be using a red lipstick as a base using a lip brush. Apply onto your lids up to the cut crease area. Then taking this 88 metal palette from Moi Cosmetics, apply the red shade on top of the red lipstick. Then taking the shade Fashionista, intensify the crease with a liner brush. Blend it well. Then wrapping a wet tissue on my index finger, wipe off the edge of the eye makeup like so to create a flake. Apply concealer as needed and light your eyes. I'm using here my Hyper Sharp Liner from Maybelline in the shade Black. Then I have proceeded with the application of my falsies from Wicked Beauty in the style PX9. And to warm up my face, I'll be using the Baked Bronze shade from the Baked Eyeshadow Palette from Wa Cosmetics and bronze up my cheeks.
temple. From far away they came to Forehead and jawline. Taking the white shade from the same palette, apply by using it as a highlighter using a fan brush. And for the inner corner of my eyes, I'm using this white eyeshadow from Xiaobiao. This is a gorgeous shimmery shadow, I'm telling you. Lastly, for that sexy rose lips, I'll be using the shade Secret from LA Girl Matte Lip Color. I'll be applying it using the small round petal brush and I have noticed that the application with this brush gives you that perfect velvety appearance. Next, taking this small straight paddle brush, apply on the natural actor shade number 140 on the edges of the lips to conceal the mess. Fix your hair and you're done. We crave for knowledge for envy. You are now ready for that romantic dinner with your loved ones, but for my case, I did not have a date, so I will proceed with painting roses on my face to symbolize the need to express love with flowers. Take note, gentlemen. Using this red lip liner from me now, I'll be outlining the shape of the rose. My only reference here is the plastic rose that I was holding and I bought that for myself. So I am just drawing irregular lines here. Moving on, paint on this red body paint from Derivan using a concealer brush, apply it within the outline. Next, taking a tiny brush, which is a nail art brush that I have, dip that on a white body paint from Snazaru and draw a thin line to where the highlights are, basically near the outline. It looks crappy at first, but don't worry, this is painting. Then, Using a black liner from Shawil, add shadows, like so. This is just random, but it helps if you have a reference. And then taking that matte lip from LA Girl earlier, blurred the black shadows with it, extending it a bit outward, but avoid the white areas. They will return the day when they are with whatever that's left from the brush, blur the white lines that you drew earlier. Of course, you can't go avant-garde without a headpiece. 
I just glued these plastic roses on the plastic headband that I have to complete the look. Oh yes, we're done! Just remember guys, flowers expresses your feelings for someone. Give flowers to your partner not only in February, but whenever you feel like the need to surprise her. That's it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope you like this collab with Shanna P. Go check out her channel as well. She's amazing. And of course, please, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and follow me on my social media sites provided below. See you again on my next videos. Bye! Love you!